I really need to shut up, right? Over the hopium of my last video, today's dev update video and server downtime has brought a slew of changes despite a somewhat hopeful rest of the season, and they're not good changes. Ugh, let's get into it. Oh, and I'll put some calming music on, we're gonna need it. Firstly, Rare have identified several bugs which I touched on in the last video briefly, but much like the traps and ledge hanging, Crouch brought back the crud launch, quick swapping and even an invincibility bug. Due to this, Rare has now turned off crouching and subsequently, the skizes have also been disabled as a result. I would argue the crud launch wasn't enough to remove this, nor the return of quick swap, but the invincibility bug will do it. The disguises also produce tons of visual bugs, it's a shame I can't get cool shots like this anymore. Now, while this news is crushing since the disguises have been excellent, they have done this to avoid rushing a hotfix and causing more issues arising from jumping the gun. There is a patch planned for next week, I repeat, planned, which aims to bring back these features. Drew. Poor Drew also confirmed that November is when they seek to drop traps and ledge hanging, which is nice to have that confirmed. No date has been confirmed for this patch so far, I'll also say not to rely on the countdown clock in the Emporium as I can't see the team rushing these out. I will say, now this has happened, a delay was probably the best thing they could have done. However, many of these issues weren't discovered until live, or believe it or not, a lot of insiders withhold these exploits in order to abuse them when the season launches. As much as this is disappointing news, I really hope Rare decides to dismantle the seasons from now on, and it just adds weight to my previous video. Oh, and the chest of fortune should actually be in the Fort of the Damned now. No other fixes have been highlighted as part of this maintenance, like the visual harpoon bug, so hopefully that will fall inside the next patch. I really do hope this has caused the team to completely reevaluate the live service model. Since the content here isn't bad, it just seems the servers, engine, whatever, have reached their limit in terms of additions. This, for me, marks a crossroad for the game. Since the dev teams working on Sea of Thieves can't stop content, otherwise they won't make enough money to appease Microsoft and the game will get shut down, and they can't release content since it affects the performance of the game. I truly, truly hope a sequel or relaunch is in the works because we are indeed at capacity. So we don't have the capacity. I really feel for the teams working on this, it's not been a good week. Anyhow, there's a short little update on season 14. I'm optimistic about the team returning these features, but we'll see what happens.